The race for mayor has also recruited a lot of Hollywood star power. That's right, Juan, but this isn't a Hollywood tale. It's an election about some very real issues. CBS News senior political correspondent Ed O'Keefe is live in downtown L.A. with a race that many believe is dividing the Democratic Party. Good evening, Ed. Pat and Juan, great to see you, and great to be here in Los Angeles yet again. So, Ed, what can you tell us about that uh, particular race? We also want to mention mm -hmm. that Kevin DeLeon is also running, though all the polls put him pretty far behind Bass and Caruso. And the voter turnout is said to be so low for this election. How does that affect the candidates? Well, it likely means you're going to a run or to a final round in November. Uh, you know, Bass, obviously, longtime uh, liberal lawmaker, Caruso, a uh, Republican turned Democrat. I found it notable that Bass told me when I spoke with her yesterday that part of the reason she actually got into the race is because she was considered by President Biden to be her running mate back in 2020. And she figures, if I was potentially qualified to be vice president, why couldn't I possibly also be mayor of, uh, of uh, Los Angeles? So, you know, uh, we'll see where exactly this goes. Uh, but it sure, at this point, it seems like it's going to another round in November, in part because while this is an interesting race and Angelinos have a reason to turn out, across the state, you don't have a competitive governor's race, uh, not much of a race in the attorney general's race, uh, and some of the others just not nearly as compelling either. In some ways, the open primary system, the way you guys do it out here in California, uh, creates some competitiveness and makes things interesting. But in other ways, given the Democratic Party dominance, uh, it, it can make it kind of a foregone conclusion for voters who don't necessarily feel compelled to turn out. Well, Ed, we've talked about the uh, money that Caruso has been spending on this campaign. If it is indeed Caruso versus Bass after tonight, what role will that money play moving forward? Can, can Bass keep up with the spending? We'll have to wait and see. And she's had some outside help as well. But she made the point as well to me that, look, I've only raised or spent about three and a half million dollars. Mm -hmm. He spent about 40 million of his own dollars and hasn't been able to catch me. So is it really worth the investment? His name ID has certainly improved. And he said to me that's why he had to do it, because he hasn't been in politics for 20 years. He hasn't been the beneficiary of free media through news coverage, as someone like Congresswoman Bass is. Uh, but we'll see whether he can exceed that roughly 35 percent that he has right now. Whether, let's say, Kevin DeLeon supporters, if he's not in the top two, uh, go to him or go over to the congresswoman. Um, but certainly it seems he has the money to keep going. And if that name ID helps him and, and something changes in the makeup of the city's uh, attitude towards who should be mayor, then certainly there's an opportunity for him. All right. Well, uh, we will wait and see after tonight. Ed, I'm sure you'll be watching this as closely mm -hmm. as we are here.